Hello and welcome to Banks and Markets. This is Binam and in this video I am talking about performance attribution analysis. So in terms of performance attribution analysis we need to talk about allocation effect and selection effect. Now first what is important for portfolio managers. This is something I also discussed in my first video on this topic of portfolio performance measurement. What is important for, for managers, portfolio managers, fund managers, wealth managers? They can add value for their investors in two ways. One, selecting superior securities and second, demonstrating superior timing skills. So selecting superior securities or demonstrating superior timing skills by allocating funds to different asset or sector classes. Therefore, attribution analysis attempts to distinguish this means to separate which factor is the source of the portfolio's overall performance okay so basically this method compares the manager's total return to the return of a benchmark a predetermined index okay and decomposes the difference into the allocation effect and selection effect. Now please do not worry about the formula and the symbols here. I have the numerical example which will explain all this. So let's jump into this example now. So basically uh, we need to understand what have we got here so these are the investment weights so manager made investment in stocks 50 percent 38 percent in bonds and remaining 12 percent cash and the market or the benchmark um in this in in, in the asset allocation has the weight stocks comprising 60 percent bonds 30 percent 10 percent cash and the rate of returns are as follows the manager is in able to enjoy in the case of stock 9.7 percent bonds 9.1 and cash 5.6 and benchmark returns are as follows okay so so what we therefore first need to do is find out what is the overall manager's return and that's something I'm going to do here. Simple manager's return. Manager allocated 50% in stocks. Okay. And manager made a return of 9.7%. So therefore, overall manager return from stocks is this. So this is what you can do and scroll it down it the remaining is for bonds and cash and therefore the total overall manager's return you find is 8.98 percent now you can do the same for the benchmark therefore benchmark weight times benchmark return okay so you get these numbers here for stock bonds and cash and therefore you find the total and therefore you get 8.46 okay now this time I'm going to highlight this 8.46 to tell you that this 8.46 and this formula here over here is the overall return from the benchmark RB okay whereas this RBI basically is these benchmark returns for individual sectors or asset component okay now in the formula we also have 
this, which is basically the difference in the weight between the managers and the benchmark. So basically, this is just the access to tell you by how much more the manager's weight differs from that of the benchmark weights for these different asset classes. Now, here on this side, they were investment weights. Here's on this side, we've got the returns. So in terms of returns, what is the difference between the manager and the benchmark? And that's something we find here, okay? Now, again, this particular part is representing here, this inside the parenthesis okay now this particular component here rai minus rbi is basically the difference in the return uh, enjoyed by the manager and the benchmark so we have it here okay now what is important we found the overall manager return which is 8.98 we found the overall benchmark return which is 8.46 so you can see the manager's overall return is higher than that of benchmark returns. So by how much is this higher is what we can find here. Equal 8.46, sorry, 8.98, take away 8.46. We got 0.52 or 52 basis point. So manager is able to make 52 basis point higher than that of the benchmark. So now the job is basically to see, i.e. the goal of the attribution analysis is basically to isolate the reason for this value added performance, which is 52 basis point. For which, what we can do? We can find out allocation effect if it was due to the way the weights were allocated for these different asset classes. So, to find out the allocation effect as produced in this formula, we need the WAI minus WBI times RBI minus RB. So, we already have WAI minus WBI, which is this, and we also have this number here, which is RBI minus R B which we have which is basically this benchmark returns minus the overall benchmark return so let's find out the asset allocation effect now which is minus 0 0.1 times the benchmark return from the stocks take away overall benchmark return this time I'm going to lock it and therefore now I will be able to drag it down and I will also find the total allocation effect which is this so basically we find minus 0 0.016 so <coughs> what has happened sorry what has happened here so in the case of stock, you see the manager has underweighted, underweighted the investment. But if you see here, the stock, um, the return is 9.7, which is higher than that of the benchmark. Okay, so we can therefore say to underweight the stock was not a good thing. And this contributed heavily for this negative allocation effect okay now now that we found the allocation effect overall let's find out the let's find out the um the selection effect selection effect so again what we need to do is very simple this time stock is this 0.5 and then times we've got 9.7 percent minus 8.6 percent that is going to give us 1.1 which we already have here so i can take this straight 
okay so it is excel so easy i can just put them there and therefore find out the total which is going to be this number here 0.536 now remember again we can we can put this here uh, to say that they they are uh, represented by stocks bonds and cash um so i can delete this here now what is important what is the total value added total value <coughs> sorry total value added added is simply the allocation effect and the selection effect okay so can you see this number here is exactly same to overall um, to the difference between the overall managers return and overall benchmark return that we initially found which was 0 0.52 or 52 basis point so this was a simple illustration of portfolio performance attribution analysis thank you very much for listening and i will see you uh, and i'll be making some other videos uh, in which i will expand and advance the the uses of the tool so i'll be combining a number of tools to to talk interpret evaluate the performance of a portfolio thank you very much